So we've kind of just been told that Nightwaves Season 2 isn't about to drop anytime soon, but in order to fill that gap in between Season 1 and 2, Digital Extremes have announced Nightwave Intermission, which is a kind of mini Nightwave that's coming to all platforms next week, as well as three different alerts that are gonna run all over the weekend for all platforms as well. Now, Nightwave Intermission will have 15 ranks, 15 different sets of rewards for you to aim towards or get your hands on. Now, they've said that with Tenocon right around the corner, combined with their overly ambitious plans, it means that it's all hands on deck and releasing Nightwave Season 2 before Tenocon might be a bit of a push, but they still plan on doing it. Now, I'll be honest, when they originally spoke about Nightwave seasons having a little bit of downtime in between them in order to not burn players out, I didn't think they meant weeks and weeks and weeks of literal downtime in between seasons. Now, maybe it's just another case of, I guess, biting off more than they could chew in terms of their ambitions, which of course has happened in the past with the game as well. Maybe it is, but Nightwave Intermission, like I said, has 15 different reward levels, giving away reactors, former bundles, aura former, and Eidolon Ephemera slots, Endo Kuva and so on. So it's a filler mini season, but one that has made some of the changes that the community wanted for season two. Changes like the weekly catch up. This allows you to go back and replay weekly challenges you may have missed once you've completed the current weekly challenge. So basically, if you're busy with work or college or real life or beer or women or men or whatever, and you miss out on some of those weekly challenges, which means you might not get the rewards for the end of that season, then next week you're going to be able to finish next week's challenges and then have the option to go back and finish the week prior to it. So you're not going to miss out on those end seasonal rewards. Now, this time around with the Nightwave Intermission and of course into Season 2 as well, we will have five weekly and two elite weekly challenges, but basically get the same amount of experience as you would have with the extra challenges you would have done in Season 1. Now, the friend challenges are gone, so bye-bye, Billy No Mates. If, you, <laughs> if you've got no friends, you're fucking all right, you're laughing, you're still going to be able to complete it. The fence missions are down to 20 waves, not 40. Survivals are 30 minutes and not 60. Ayatan sculptures, having to socket them, has been lowered down to 3 and not 5. 10 bounties is down to 5 bounties and other changes as well. So again, this is not season two. Now, the fact that they have put all hands on deck for Tenocon has me honestly frowning a little bit because they did mention in the past that a huge emphasis wasn't going to be put on Tenocon this year, on Tenocon Reveal, and more would be put into the game itself. But right now, it kind of feels like it's as dry as the Sahara out there for, for the veterans of Warframe. There isn't a whole lot for us to do. now. If you're a new player, of course, you're not going to feel that one little bit. But to quote Dave, who quoted someone else, Warframe's recent content has been as wide as an ocean, but as deep as a puddle, kind of gone in a day or two. It just doesn't scratch that itch for a lot of players. Hopefully this, I guess, will give you guys something to aim towards while you wait for Tenocon and while you wait for season two of the Nightwave to properly drop in and see what boss is going to be in it. And I guess we, we know it's going to be infested. So what else comes along with that season? Now, let me know in the comment section below what you think of this intermission that's coming next week. And of course, the rewards that are going to be given out over the weekend in different alerts. I'm off for a feckin' beer. So like, comment, subscribe. Have a great fucking day and I'll see you.